a step that is not given due importance. Friends, this Tipsy Tuesday is about bite registration. Now, often a sight in a dental laboratory is this, and it hurts me to see this scene because there are two major problems with this. First, the fact that the material used is incorrect. Friends, this is modeling wax. It is not accurate enough. It distorts. Second, the problem here is these are full arch bites. Now remember, bite registration is typically indicated in scenarios like this, where a terminal molar has been prepared and the technician needs to know the amount of clearance that you have provided. And an ideal bite is only a segmental bite, a bite that basically extends over the portion of the area that has been worked upon, that's it, which means a bite that basically covers the occlusal surface of the prepared terminal teeth, not the entire arch. And it should be made in a material that is designed for bite registration like what you see on screen here. Friends, this is imprint bite. It is an addition silicon bite registration paste from 3M that I personally prefer to use in my practice. Problems arise in terms of occlusion when you do a bite registration like this that extends around the entire arch. You will almost always get high points and prematurities in your occlusion. A full arch bite is indicated only in scenarios where you are doing a full mouth reconstruction, not when you are doing small crown and bridge restorative work. Now, let me explain to you when to do a bite registration. Now, remember to get stability, you ideally need four points of contact. If you're sitting on a stool like right now, look, it'll have at least four points of contact with earth. Now on a bite like this, you get two terminal molar contacts and you get two canine contacts and it's a very stable situation for mounting a maxillary and a mandibular cast, which is the reason why if you are working on a scenario like this, where you have prepared a molar, but there is an anterior and a posterior stop present, that formation of a four points is still there, which is the reason why in such a scenario, a bite is not indicated. Don't waste material doing that. Let's look at a bridge scenario. It's a three unit bridge scenario. Guess what? A bite is still not needed because there is an anterior stop and a posterior stop still present to hold the vertical in place. Having said that, this is a classic indication where a bite would be needed because in such a scenario, if you look here, the terminal contacts are missing, which is the reason why a bite helps the technician get the mounting correct, get the final occlusion correct as well. A scenario like this is screaming for a bite registration because when you have a multi-bit preparation with the terminal molar involved, the entire stability on one side is completely lost. We need to recreate that space which you have created through prosthetic preparations by a simple bite registration like this. A quadrant bite or segmental bite that extends over the teeth that you have prepared and in the correct material. You can get a little more easy with this provided you have a good laboratory who knows how to handle a bite. All you may do is a single tooth bite that basically covers the terminal molar that will recreate the space that the technician needs to provide you the stability on your cast. Once again, I personally prefer to use addition silicon imprint. You may choose different companies. That's your choice. You may also choose to use Bital, which is an aluminum reinforced bite registration wax specifically designed for bites. Now, the reason why we don't like modeling wax is it distorts very easily. But when you look at a bite registration paste or a bite registration wax, if I try to bend the wax, it will not distort, but it will break. I am okay with my bite record breaking, but if it distorts, it is going to create a problem 
for me in the subsequent appointments. So friends, this was today's Tipsy Tuesday about bite registration, the material that you're supposed to use and which cases do you do the same. If you like this, please go ahead and double click. Go ahead and share it with your friends. Do send in your comments as we wish and attempt to make dentistry easier and more predictable one Tuesday at a time.